So now in this video, it's going to be another uh, quick video. We're going to look at the knot gate. So I should have covered this earlier, and I'll probably bump it up in the uh, list uh, right after the uh, switch. But in uh, any case, it's kind of like the switch, but the LED will be on when the switch is off, and the LED will be off when the switch is on. Usually, this is done uh, digitally, and uh, you'll have a component or something if you need one or more uh, knot gates, but uh, zero low zero volts is uh, typical and then one digital one or high on is typically five volts that, that's common and you can see here we have a truth table so if the input is one or high the output is low if the input is low the output is high so it's the opposite uh, so we can make a switch version of this and because uh, it's easier to understand so I'll put the power supply there. And so we have the uh, push button switch that I use a lot. And we'll zoom in. And I'll plug it in the board. So I'm right below this jumper for the uh, top pin there. And because there's a gap between the uh, top and the bottom pins. So we can wire the uh, bottom pin directly to the rail. And then uh, top pin directly to the rail. We have a resistor, one side of the switch, going to the positive rail. So, we will add that over there. I'll zoom back, make sure we don't uh, cut any of this out. So it's going to the positive rail and then to the top of the switch. Now we're going to grab an LED. So, the LED is going to connect to the node where the resistor and the switch are connected so this goes across it's basically one long row on top one long row on the bottom now and so you'll see the power is already on when I grab the LED so long lead the anode has to go towards the positive side so it's lower short lead the cathode is up there you can see that it lit because we're working with 5 volts and this is a 220 ohm resistor by the way good for 5 volts so right now like I said, that's always connected. It's like a piece of wire. doesn't matter if I hit the switch or anything. The LED is going to stay on. And uh, so this is not a normally uh, closed switch that is on until you press it. It turns off. It's just the way we have it uh, connected. So we need to uh, finish this. So you can see the other side of the switch, we do have the LED to ground to the uh, negative rail, but that side of the switch isn't. That's open right there. There's a little gap as far as our actual circuit is concerned. So I'm gonna take uh, this jumper here. Doesn't matter, I can put it on that side or on this side. As I said before, those two bottom pins are connected all the time. Now if I hit the button, you can see the LED turns off. So what it's doing, it's diverting the current through the resistor and then to ground instead of going through the LED and then to ground the negative rail. So, we don't have the LED drop while we are pressing the switch. You can see right now, five volts, 220 ohm, and an LED block in probably about 1.8 volts or something. We got 13 milliamps of current. If I press the switch, the current goes up considerably. That's because we don't have the voltage drop of the LED. Current's just going through the resistor and then straight to ground electrically. So it is going through the switch, but when you close the switch, it has practically no resistance. And uh, so it's just the resistance of the resistor and the power supply voltage. So in any case, that's a demonstration of the NOT gate. I have integrated circuits with a bunch of NOT gates within them. Digitally, you give them five volts, they output zero. And uh, you give them zero volts, they output almost five volts. And uh, they don't always get all the way to the supply voltage, but they do their best. And uh, the uh, demonstration circuit though here, it helps you understand a lot more about uh, future circuits that behave similar to this. So, thanks for watching. Uh, check out one of the other videos and uh, the rest of the videos in this series. I will see you in the next video.